Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In the last sessions, we have seen how to write data into a Google spreadsheet as well as how to transfer data from a normal Excel sheet to the Google spreadsheet. So in the present session, we are going to see how to fetch the data from the Google spreadsheet. So here I have already created one activity with the name as read. So go to the activities and search for sheets. So inside the Google activities under sheets, so we have some activities with read. So like read cell, read column, read range and read row. So current session, we'll see about the read cell and read range activities. In the coming session, we'll know about this read column and read row. So first we'll start with the read cell. So just drag and drop into our Z Suite application scope. So here in the Z Suite application scope, I already mentioned my client ID and client secret details. So if you are watching for the first time, you just check this Z Suite application scope video. So you will get to know how to get this client ID and client secret and what are the types of authentication available in the Z Suite application scope and about its configuration as well. Okay, so here in the read cell, the inputs are nothing but the spreadsheet ID and the sheet name and the cell address. So here the spreadsheet ID is nothing but the sheet ID which we get while creating a sheet. So here we can identify that sheet ID with the help of uh, the URL as well. So here the portion which I highlighted this is the sheet ID. So here I am going to use the sheet ID. So like this. And here I just want to print the hello world in my output. So here I am in the sheet 1 and in the cell A1. So I am just using the default cell address and the sheet name. And if you see the output which is nothing but the cell value. So here I will create one new variable called cell val. So this will give me the output value as hello world. So for printing this hello world so here we need to use one more activity called right line so just drag and drop into the do and here we need to mention the cell val which is nothing but the output variable of read cell okay so just make it as dot to string and let's run this activity now and we'll check the output of this uh, read cell activity the execution is started so you can see the output showing as hello world which is nothing but the cell value that is present in the a1 cell of my sheet one so that is the way you can use this uh, read cell activity to get the information from a particular cell. Suppose if you want to extract the information from a particular cells, so like this. So here we created one data table and printed the details here like this with the roll number and street student name. And along with that, you have the details of uh, uh, roll numbers 1, 2, 3 and uh, the student names as Leo, Richard and Venu. So for extracting the information of the data in the form of a table so here we have one more activity inside the sheets that is nothing but the read range so I'm going to use that activity so here I have the activity called read range so just drag and drop into my do I'm using the previous values as well for the read activity so here the inputs of read range are the spreadsheet ID sheet name and range the sheet name and range are defaultly shown with the values like a sheet 1 and a1 to b2 so a1 to b2 is nothing but the cell range from which your data table is located in the sheet and you want to extract the information so for in my case so here I have the data that lies between b1 to c4 so B1 is the starting position for the roll number and C4 is the position of Venu. So from B1 to C4 I want to extract the information so that I need to mention here. So here B1 column C4. 
so that is the range i want to extract the data if suppose if you want to read the whole data from the spreadsheet means you just need to keep it as blank or you just need to just mention uh mention the double quotes so here in the same way as the read cell activity here we need to mention the spreadsheet id and here if you see the properties so it has option called include header so here i have the headers called roll number and the sheet name so i want to use those headers in my output so that's why i just use the check option to get the details of the headers as well and here we have a variable called output so here i am creating one variable like this dt so which is the output as a data table so here you can see a data variable data table is created in the variables panel so this screen range generate the output in the form of data table so for printing these values inside the output so we need to use other activities called for each row activity for printing the data on the output so here we need to provide the input like the data table so here it is my dt and here we should have an indexing variable for pointing the values in the data table so here i will write as row so which is already there in the index position so for extracting the information now what i will use is so here we have the indexing variable called row for getting the data from a particular row we need to use one more item called row get row item so this we need to use inside the body of this for each row so here we have the input of row inside the input field and here we need to mention some more inputs like column or column index or column name suppose if you just want to show the details of row values only so you just need to mention the row column index here or the column name or the column so you just need to mention the details here so for this index is 2 so I'm just mentioning it as 2 and here the values will be stored in the variable called roll IDs okay I created variable like this so for printing this I'm going to use the right line activity again so this time use this right line activity inside the body of the for each row and uh, mention the output of this get row item which is nothing but the roll id okay so let's print this now and we'll see the output of roll ids here so hello world is printed so cannot find the column number two so or else i will try with the other index or else let's try with the row number column name yeah we have the data table right so i was thinking in the form of uh, the excel sheet so we don't have index two we have zero and one only so this time we'll try with the, the column name and we'll check the output the execution is that i know hello world one two three four see you can see the details as rule number one two three four so let's try with the column index once again so this time i just want to print the details of the student name so here i will keep the index as one and let's check the output again hello world leo richard venu so all the items which are available in the student name are displayed in my output panel so like this we can use the read cell and read range activity to get the information from a spreadsheet which is available in your google drive 
that's all for this video i hope you like this video if you like the video please do like and subscribe to our channel and share with your colleagues or friends and if you have any if you have any questions related to the uipath please comment in the videos comment session thank you